With the Premier League season over for this year, Janusz Michalik and I are already looking ahead to next year. And we're going to try and predict the top four based on what we've seen so far. We, of course, know that the teams have the summer transfer window to strengthen. Janusz, who is your champion next year? Very easy for me. I don't know why it didn't happen this season, but it's going to happen next season because everyone's going to be healthy and I like attacking football. Manchester City will win if they can turn it here, we'll win it. I mean, look, they have so much going forward. They'll tweak the goalkeeper situation. They'll get Kyle Walker right back. Company and Otamendi are good enough already. Sure winner. In Pep, you trust. Yes. All right, well, I'm going to go out there for the big one. I am going oh. to see Tottenham no, win the Premier League. They've been flirting with it for the past two seasons. Well, flirting even from afar, so to speak, this season. But as we said, beautiful football, some serious talent. And I really feel like... It could be their year. They can do it at Wembley, huh? Who is your runner-up? Uh, my runner-up, well, I'm going to have to uh, go with Chelsea. It was uh, tougher than I thought. Antonio Conte, of course, is going to strengthen the team. This time, they're going to have to deal with the Champions League, which they didn't have to do with this past season as well. That's why the, maybe I'm flip-flopping this a little bit. But Chelsea is certainly good enough to be uh, in second. I'm going to go with Manchester City for everything that you said that would make them champions, but I'm still taking the risk. I would like to see Tottenham win the Premier League. Why not? Third place, Janusz. Uh, well, Spurs are magnificent. I don't see them going anywhere. Second, third, they've been there a couple seasons ago, and I think that's where they're going to end up. And uh, I still like them. They have a couple issues, mainly going away from home, which yes. is uh, not going to be an easy task as we've seen, but they're still good enough to be third. I'm going to go with this year's Premier League champions for third place because I don't see Chelsea falling off that wagon that much. But it will be interesting to see how much or how much longer Antonio Conte will be a part there. Who gets see, the last see automatic that, see, spot? See, now in that is not league? fair because for me, Liverpool soft spot for you, Manchester United. It is a decision between those two. Uh, uh, I am going to show my bias because why not? I didn't believe Liverpool were going to be top four. Uh, they proved me wrong, so I don't want to make another mistake like that. So I'm going to put Liverpool, Liverpool in fourth spot. Although, uh, whatever argument you give me, that's good <laughs> enough because I can see. Uh, Manchester United and Manchester United under Jose Mourinho, they will get it right. So I'm ready to listen. I'm definitely going to go for Manchester United in this one. For a lot of things that you have said, though, as you said, it's absolutely unacceptable to finish sixth for Jose Mourinho. No stranger to, to the Premier League. We know he knows what it takes to win and I think that he will definitely settle down this season and at least get the automatic champion and you spot. promise that he will entertain us as well in the process Whew. I make no promises Janusz we will see if we see some entertaining football Lord knows we hope so well these are our top fours for now but I'm pretty sure we'll have some time to pick them again soon